Alright, my name is Dark Scamble, and this is Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. Now, this is a little visual novel, I guess you could say, I found on, uh, I keep, I can't think of the site's name. I'm, I'm probably just gonna put it in the comments or something, the, the, the description or something. But, um, this is called, uh, Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. And it was a game made for a Yuri Jam. I figured since I was playing Dramatical Murder, which is a Yaoi game, I might as well go ahead and do the Yuri game. So, here we are. Okay, let's begin. In the peaceful town of Magic Users, there's a shop that sells ordinary non-magical candies. Ulterior sweets. The owner is known as a candy alchemist, a firm believer in the science of superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. What makes you surprise to waste her in her basement workshop? Hmm, what's this thing? Good morning, how are you today? Uh, fine? I am also fine. I still, can you come down here like now? Um, how'd you like it if I. How'd you like if you told me your name? I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. But still, hurry up. Your syrup is very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. But still, get down here already! Syrup, if it's important, it's very, oh, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. And I want you out of my lab right now. What is that you're holding? Uh... What's it look like? It's candy. Are you eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy. To be eaten. I see. Then please, eat me! What? No, you weirdo. But you have to, it's purpose is candy. Do not eat the cute candy girl in that case. I can see where this is going. I'm not eating you. Is there a problem? Please don't in your mouth. <laughs> oh dear. It's about time. Bastille, make her stop. Brother tastes good. Here, start the finger. I said no, I'm not gonna eat a person. It's too weird. I'm not just a person, I'm candy. He said the whole point of candy is to be eating. Hmm, sorry. Why don't you just eat her then? She's not working candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I didn't act human, you would eat me? No, nope, it's too late. I'm never eating you. Ever. Got it? <gasps> no! Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I, I will not give up. I will get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. Best deal, do something about this. Me? Yeah. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I don't know exactly where this girl came from. Y you do? The rod and witch made her and torment me. This is all her stupid elaborate prank to forget. You forget to lock this place up last night and look what happened. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. That's not what happened at all, is it, Pastel? Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I got work to do. Yeah, the important work of eating me. So that's not gonna happen. Syrup, you're going the wrong way. Hold on. Question mark. You'll never be able to get eaten. You'll never get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah. Can't you tell? She doesn't like you very much. You have to find out what she likes. But still, I can't help but notice this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like you're trying to complete her. It's like the complete opposite. Alright, Master. I'll find out what she likes. Master? Well, maybe she means Master of the Household. <laughs> this is my store, not a house. If anyone is the Master, it's me. Should I have not call you Master, Master? Um, just Pastille is fine. Master Pastille? Well, that's close enough. 
You quit being so friendly with my assistant, and you, I thought you could get her out of here. Come on, Sai. She's not hurting anything. You're forgetting it was the witch who made her. Obviously, it's a prank or something. Just watch, she'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Question mark? I don't think she planned on wrecking anything, Sai. Are you saying I'm wrong? And that she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know. I just think... You can't even wear it out. Who made you? This is a secret. Figures, why are you here then? To get along with Syrup. See? Harmless. Check your face already. Want to know the secret of getting along with me? Yes! Stay out of my lab! But... Let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Well, she's only listening to Pastille. It's a bit canning weird, though. A little while later. One more batch of these, and shoot, I need some... Tart... Wait, that's a... Well... Tarazine. I guess that's that word. Because I'm taking a shopping break. And every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Bastille. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure how you run the store. I am helping! No, 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 no. You're supposed to make her leave. Not reveal all her trace secrets. And why'd you have to like that? <coughs> Would you rather she get walking around naked? She needs a uniform. She's gonna work here. She's not working here! I don't work for syrup. Let's get along. Cut it out. Why are you thinking, Bastille? What if she really wants to sit in here with a spire so that witch can run us? Or can ruin us. I said run us, but I didn't see the eye there. There's an eye right there. See? There's an eye right there. It's like you're just hanging over our business. We use the extra help. She's just trying to be Butterscotch's spy. I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? Magic hand golems aren't pets, I said now. I'll work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with mint or menials tasks. <laughs> it's true, she cleaned the, this whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around, spotless. Hmm. She did a good job. Even looks brighter than usual. I like her. I mean honest, I know my character doesn't like her, but I kinda like her, so we're gonna we're gonna keep her. Fine, she can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. She already started taking inventory by herself. Well, hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. <gasps> Slow down! Well, guess I'll sell. I need to do some shopping. Wait! You wait it, thank you. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? But I still said that said that he will wait. Pastil's a guy. Wow. Huh. Wow. He said he will have an inventory taken. If you're running errands, I would like to help. Fine, let's go. Huzzah! I can't tell if my voice for her is different than I'm trying to make it, but I don't know. So what were we shopping for today, Syrup? It's hard to as we're going to call it. After I heard that, does it make candy tastier? It's food color. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, so we might buy something to make me taste better. Alright, so I want to eat you? Yes. Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you're a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go. Tarazine. Mission completed. Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure. Just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That's fine with me. I will just have to become your friend before then. Oh, scary I was man. Nyah. I feel like okay, I have King I have her voice down, so. <gasps> Syrup, it's a key cat! Meow, where did you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hate match things. Meow. What do you want? Gee, Whiskers, I'm not so rude as to decline green my master rival when I see her citations. Meow. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, Kitty. I can tell how different these voices are. 
name's Toffee. Yeah. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not been given a name. Oh, 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 wrong voice. I have not yet been given a name. Yeah. How sad for you. But really, K Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see you. This new friend of yours. Oh, I don't think we have become friends yet. But I'm working hard at very edit. I hope I read that right. A very hard edit. I, I didn't read that right. She doesn't look familiar to you? After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. <laughs> I love this music. You're a fool anyone, cat. That Rotten Witch is the only one who tried to prank me like this. She made a golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. S sabotage? You're... Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer? Yeah. That doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to make a responsibility for her, though. It takes some high level of magic to make a ding like that. Yeah. Which brings us back to my first point. Why is the K Alchemist who is so outspoken and anti magic strolling around with a such unscientific creature? Yeah. I'll admit, you do have a point, cat. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay. Oh, wait, ooh, ooh. Okay, goodbye, Toffee. I thought I did the wrong voice for her. Doesn't matter. Running away. Yeah. Well, thanks for the interesting chat. The <clears throat> very way they're home. They started went straight back to work, making more delicious candies. The appreciation for Candy Girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, K Alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so the golem started living with syrup and pastille after at Ulterior Suites. She got a, a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly something, hmm, no. You think of something? I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? So you are a guy, correct? I figured that all the characters in this game are gonna be girls because it's a Yuri game, but I guess I was wrong about that. Maybe we have some yell. Well, I guess it won't be yell actually because I'm a girl. Alright. I'm trying to go with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to Ken Golem's Arm Pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her Candy Weird, though. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop is a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes, I knew. If, uh, yes, I knew if syrup. I knew if it was syrup, she would pick something good. All right. Um. All right. Oh, they're 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 both boys. Uh, I got this. Hello, hello. The Chocolate Brothers are making their appearance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. Hello, welcome to Alteria Suites. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now. How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessarily in their name, in their making, unless you found a way to create life through alchemy? She's our assistant. I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious. I am going to take you with her. May I offer you flowers, my lady? Magic flowers? You're very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? That's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm. Would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. How much are we talking? She's not for sale. I honestly like Gumdrop. So we're on, we're, nah, nah, she's not for sale. You can buy any other candy here. This one's mine. Sir, I'm glad that you think of me as yours. I took it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks aren't good for business. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a very high level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything that close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well, well, we'll just have to give it a, a go sometime then? Hmm. Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that! Oh, wait, ooh, <laughs> that's the cat's voice. We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. So friendly, isn't she? I think she over 
does it. Whatever keeps the customers happy, though. Hey, Bastille, it's true that you that just any old witch can make a golem. Huh. Well, you don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Paying for your dots. She's wearing about his actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. So like you said, if Buttercash didn't make her, then who did? I, I, I'm thinking it was you. I honestly, without a doubt, believe that it was you. She needs to listen to you. Oh, wait, 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 what just happened? Oh, no, no, okay. Hey, do you know where I'm coming from with this? N no. Ask her to tell you, ask her to tell you who her creator is, since she won't tell me. You're only one hope, dude. Oh, I already asked. I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. <laughs> it was totally you, wasn't it, Pastille? You sly dog. Look, I'll drag out of her some way or another. Gentle subject, I was surprised to see you out of the basement during the store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? I was planning on uh, looking out for our new citizens. Hey, gumdrop! You something syrup? Alright, so since Bastille's a guy, I guess, we're not going for Bastille, we're going to try to go for dr Gumdrop or the Cat, I think it's the only two females in this game, because I don't think I've seen any other ones, other than the Cat and Gumdrop, and I thought she were a girl, but I guess I was wrong, well, you're pretty flat chested, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, I'm just saying, let's do something together, I'll work with you today. In that case, I'm interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it's done? So you can steal my brand recipe, uh, my recipes? Not at all. I only thought it would make it a nice bonding experience, but if you do not wish to, nah, guess I don't mind. Just know I've got an eye on you. I'm definitely going to find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup, huzzah! Right. Well, you do have fun. Then after you pour in the syrup. You let it boil for a while, the temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Is there a secret ingredient? How fun! There's secret ingredients. It's just a regular hard candy. It's still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it in all you pour it all out. Add some citric acid and color. Then make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kinda of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves and you can join in. Syrup, for these candies, I would like to use the color we bought together. Oh yeah? Yellow is it then. Hmm. Ba da 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 Singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you. No, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since I usually know what's out here with me. I think your candies appreciate it anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. Say Ray, now here, try it. Actually, wait. <laughs> Would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made of the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh? What senses are you missing? These are related to smell, which I am not capable. Which oh, wait, which I am capable of. You should. You sound pretty cherry for someone who is missing out on some major sensory experiences. Come drop. I also not feel pain, so being a candy person does have its advantages. So I guess it's just a mad, mad perspective then, huh? So why'd you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was just a spy on me after all? I did enjoy it! I have a better understanding how where I come from. I didn't make you though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me. I wish that's by enough candy for me. So it's definitely possible. If you like, you'd know for sure. You go try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again. That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really wanna know is who put you together. I kinda like really like this visual novel. <laughs> I mean no, it's just to feel like a little short video just for uh, the Yuri jam, but I actually am really enjoying this. I can tell you that, I am sorry. Figures. We're done here. Get that tray of candy to Pastille, I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oh, there's another witch. Huh. 
I've already done like all the voices I have in my, in my disposal, don't need I? I got it. Oh, she suddenly came out. Toffee, what are you? What are you? What are we? All right, what? What do we? What do we do? Butterscotch cat, what are you doing, creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name. Yeah. Oh, that's a cat. Oh. It really hurts me, my feelings when you don't remember my name. Yeah. Don't ask a question and don't try to run away. Ha ha ha. Who's running away? This is a poly row. We're well on our way to the rice of the lower here. We can't see her going. Yeah. Mm hmm. Toffee told me she's doing quite well in your hands. You know the golem that I was so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. <laughs> I'll just hear her uh, check in on her. That's right. See myself how diligent she's. Oh, wait, wrong voice. I'll just hear her to check in on her. That's right. See how. See for myself how diligent she's being at um, spying. Uh, plus. So you're gonna buy something? I don't want you in my store. I bought some. Dosh, I can't. Oh, oh, I got the voice for her. I can't buy your candy if it means I can check out my. Check out your. My. Golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. What was Giddy Cat from before? Who's your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butter Scott. Uh, oh, wrong voice again. Hey, I got used to that. I don't like to do voice acting a lot of times. This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butter Scott. Should be grateful she is gracing you with her presence. Yeah. Oh, there she is. She is such beautiful, gummy skin. And, oh, if I could just try to bite that, bite up that hair. I mean, alright. That's uh, Considering you claimed that she made her, that's because I had to sing her out for the flaws mission. I should allow restraint, you know. But it paid off. She's perfect. Now, master is at our limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it. Yeah, absolutely not. You can have any other candy store except Gum Drop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all to. Oh, oh, oh my god. I forgot, I forgot her voice already. I have everybody else's voices down. I just can't think of her voice. Uh. What would her voice even be? Like, she's a witch, but. I got it. How oh, cruel! You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put it with you for now, but just. Just don't forget who that Gum actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough funny. Just buy something to get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my sock. Magic isn't gross. You should take this drool as a comment. Oh, ooh, wait. <laughs> I keep... I, I'm not used to doing voice acting. My magic isn't gross. And you should take this drool as a comment. Yeah. Come on, Tuffy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're close. <laughs> Sarah, these are like Miss Butterscotch. She's a witch. These less witches? Some more than others, Butterscotch is the worst though. She thinks that my alchemy is not even on her magic. Which is totally wrong, of course. And why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. But I think says if she eats enough of dumb she'll absorb my, the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I didn't I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nice to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I wait for Sierra to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants to? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get a free candy from me? That's not an intention. Sigh. Don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Must have been still. I don't think Syrup trusts trust me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, sure, she'll come around the right side. Wow, I don't know why that's weird. We'll see. Wait, what? What? The next morning, Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup! I'm organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? I store isn't open for another few hours. I didn't require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission. Start moving my dinghies around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Syrup, I have noticed a trend of books in your personal library. Oh, yeah? What's that? They're all very boring. Gee, thanks. The only one book that is abnormal is the one that referenced the magic. 
Magic. Royale. Wait, isn't this? Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. This is high levels of nostalgia. Seraph's cold heart was has been softened by memories from the old long days past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet, a legendary confection. Does it be? Oh, oh no, I hit the wrong button. Doesn't matter. I guess I can save. This will be only granted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating 100 stars, shelf life eternal. Wow. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune upon consumption. Uh, consumption. Wow, consumption. <laughs> Good word. Our temporary enlightened state in, is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate secret require both magical talent and mastery of science. Making it seem like difficult. If not utterly impossible for one person to create on their own. Yummy sweet. Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell him pastel I was gonna make it one day. So he could taste it. But the book says the main ingredient is not impossible to find about magic. Because I kinda gave up on it. I still wanted to eat this. No, I'll tell you. I forgot about it now. Syrup! We should make it! Uh, like I said, I give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can. Um, oh, wrong voice. Uh, I mean, a wish could help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You know, always going on about that. Are you supposed to be friends or something? Precisely. All right, can't anywhere though. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good. And while Master Steel Pastille eats it, you can eat me. I've said it all the time, so I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on. Then we'll need to go with ingredients research before we go out gathering ingredients. <laughs> Alright, keep an eye out for the SIP is about plants. <gasps> Candy Alchemist, what a surprise! And you brought your new assistant. What do we owe this pleasure? It is the well dressed men, twins from yesterday. You're also looking for books? No, my dear. I think it owns the library. Really? Huh. I guess that makes sense because they are the chocolate twins in the chocolate library. You all have known that certainly have lived here long enough by now. Well, it's still a deli in, so if you're looking for something in particular, I'll just direct you to the proper shelves. I mean, it. I'm impressed on certain plants, so if you could help us speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Oh, yes, this is Kenny Alchemist. We well, look forward to tasting whatever. Yeah, you're synthesizing. All the plants in this book it looks so interesting. I want to see more of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We have to travel pretty far and even see half of these. John with Syrup, we would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully, for this thing, we won't have to go that far. Let's pay. Just that we we need. I'm kinda, I've been recording all day. I'm kind of brain farting now. Rosy Cremelia. A rare species of vanilla orchid that miraculously dries in frozen environments. Um, the vegetable plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on the storage temperature. Because it instantly gro grows from cryogenic soil, or Cryotic soil is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice dot goddess. According to this, we should be able to find it if we go to Mount Sorbard, but... Oh, that's me. A wrong voice. According to this, we should be able to find it if we go... Find it on Mount Sorbard, but... But... It's impossible. We definitely need match to even have a chance at finding you. So we'll ask you what should help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would... Absolutely not. Then how do you plan to get the final agreement? Look, it's not just gonna happen. The mountain is home to tons of monstrous beasts, and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went there on my own. I should come to you, Syrup. You wouldn't be able to move this move in those temperatures. You may have can't, remember? I'll be fine. If you keep me warm, just put me in your mouth and Stop, we're not going. <laughs> like she's like, yeah, just just eat me and we'll be fine. Whatever goes such a great sense just to make some special dessert. It's kind of a waste ever if you ask me. All right, Syrup. Hey, silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Mesh Brazil will not even 
No, he missed out. He missed anything. It was just a waste of time. Come drop. So this thing does. The syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth the night her friend would would surely be the most delicious treat in the world just to hang on her stubborn pride? She never died about it before asking a witch to help seem impossible for right reasons. But soon she might have just have to. I'll tell your sweets. What's that? Have you been on more? Now, well, fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, could you ask her to run into the register for a while? Business has been picking up, actually, so I need help. <gasps> oh no, she's gonna go to the witch, and the witch is gonna eat her, and that's gonna be bad! That's gonna be so bad! Cause I'm gonna lose my, my buddy! I don't wanna lose my buddy. My buddy's amazing! It doesn't look different. Oh, it does look different now. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Um. Yeah, this is okay. Ah, oh, that shield's with you. No, I think I don't know where she went, though. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not gonna have any other choice. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, let's get Alchemist again. Need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Bastille to know anything about this. Oh, what is it? Something serious? The Iberia body? No, go to her enough. I think she went to the Mount Sword Work to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever, gives me more details. Ah, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and I wondered. Yeah. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but that girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was going, padding off to. She just pointed to the Mount Mountain and said that way. You know, I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. Useless cat. <laughs> I, like, I like how she uses, like, cat words in every sentence. At least that confirms that she went, she definitely went going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Do you think something bad happened to her? Well, she got eaten all the way. If it's gold, she won't be able to move. And she... If she doesn't get home, Bastille will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make it the special recipe for her, for him. And if he knew, she was only trying to get it the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go. Well, I guess I blame me too. Say no more, say no more. I'll help you, dear sweet gumdrop. But if only you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. It's for it's for gumdrop. No, 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 wrong one, wrong one. All right, fine. Any magic anyway, so might as well use you. One taste I said. Well, you'll see the turns later. But let's go get your candy back. How about you, cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No, thanks. That place is all cold and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a sweet dealer at heart. Yeah. Just wait here for us, Safi. We'll be back before you know it. He's safe, yeah. I hate the cult. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who. Oh, well. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who's protected by magic. <laughs> How about I bury you in the snow and see where that magic protection does against that? Oh, dear, Cat Alchemist. Aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way with a party member. Let's just get along. Uh, not you too. Chris always insisting that she wants me to get along with me. Insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without anyone need annoying people trying to befriend me? <laughs> Her face. Uh, annoying? <laughs> I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough, this place is pretty dangerous. But there's ferocious wolves that will gang up on me if and rip me you and rip you to shreds. What well, wolves? I, I I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? You think you can take them out with your magic? E e easily. Not really. You're trembling. That that's just because of the cold. Hey, what's that ahead? <laughs> Our character's getting faster. <laughs> 
Our character's slowly getting faster. <laughs> that was great. It, is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup, do something. I think we found a gumdrop. She's <laughs> she'll be frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, Candy, yeah, yeah. So she says, what happened if you came up here? You know, lucky we were found you. Why? <clears throat> So so looking for us, terrible voice. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for her. Like I've I've already I've already I've exhausted all my resources, and she's a girl. Um. Someone was looking for. Her. I think it's probably the cat voice, isn't it? Whoa 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 whoa! Bro, gosh, you're being rude. I've been watching this going for a while. Now I'm wondering if anyone would show up and fetch her. Maybe I can make my voice, maybe I can make my voice higher than I did for the cat. That's probably what I do. Huh, you live around here? Fetch came here to find a special plan. Do you think you could take her to the house and the doll while we get it? I promise we won't be here too long. Psst, Sarah, we she eats her. The dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. Oh, right. I prefer me. There we go. See, that's, that's as high as my voice is going. See? Ain't no worry about. This was a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back up here for one little what? I don't mind taking her in, seeing her frozen in place for so long. It was kind of sad. We well, you know who you are. Why would we trust you with something as valuable as a living candy? Treat! Huh? Huh? It's my name! Now we're acquainted! Alright, Barscotch, do you have any other problems or can we get along now? No, no, let us all sell. Let's go find our rare green or whatever it was and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Sierra, right? I smell a pretty powerful smell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that that much magic? A spell? I don't know what she's talking about. I guess only our humans can't sense that kind of magic. It's a plan. It's the day to me. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return to the to return your golem later. Sure. Thanks. Receiving directions from the from treat. The pair continues up the mountain. Sarah felt as ease as knowing God was safe. But Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse when he ran into trouble. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Werewolf! What are you doing? Scare you off with your magic! Oh, take this, monster! You turned it pink. You. <laughs> you turned it. Pink. That was supposed to be a fireball. I don't know what happened. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break. That is so amazing. Barscotch, you have to have like a curse on you or something like that, right? R R R I am not cursed. I'm completely fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Keep it chattering. What is your magic protection against the gold? It's windy, you may I'm not as strong as I died. Are you happy? I'll be nice. She she obviously is having a bad day. Uh do you want my coat? Uh, what? No, I don't need it. Don't you? I can make a sacrifice. It means you'll talk normally again. Thanks, you're not as mean as I thought. <laughs> the pink wolf came back! It's amazing! <laughs> he came back with more. <laughs> Time to go. Oh my god, the three. The three just gave it to the frozen cave, the witch hastily seals the entrance with her ice, forcing the wolves to abandon their cave. Or chase. Those are the pair of taste of well deserved rest. Hey, you alright? 
No, this is awful. I should stay home with Tuffy where it's safe and warm. Well, at least we should be able to find out find what we're looking for in here. The environment Frosty Camellia. Camellia, yeah, Camellia drives in. You can just chill here if you want. I'm going in. For, I'm going further in. How dare you make a joke in a time like this? You're as bad as Toffee. Stay away. Don't leave me alone. Well, yep, found it. J jerk, how did you leave me behind like that? Oh, is that what we came for? Yep, I just need to grab some of the fruit and then we can go home. Good, yeah, grab a ton of it so we never have to come back. Uh, since I feel like this is like a really important choice. Take all what we need. I don't have a use for this much, this many. But anymore, we've got any experience now. It won't be nearly as much trouble for us. Second time, right? You wanna go through this all oh, wait. You wanna go through all this again? I don't know. I think we made an alright team. But what I did was mess up. We got we got what we came for, didn't we? Let's get out of here. Uh hey, you look really cool. You should take your jacket back. Huh, nah, don't worry about me. You're smaller, you need all the warmth you can get. I don't feel right hogging it. It's your jacket, so just take it back alright. If you insist. All right, I you guys away so we can get out of here. All right, take this. Uh, nothing's happening. We're messing around and break the ice. Oh, so she's scared. That's what's going on with her. What? Oh, what if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows. We should be fine. All right. Okay, for real side. Hi ya. There's something wrong. I'm just stressed out. So my match is not working, right? Just shut up. So we're trapped in here. No, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just a stupid spell that doesn't want to happen. Alright! Okay, we're a little trapped. This is connected to your state of mind, right? Should I calm down? Calm? I'm as calm as a freak! Butterscotch? Everything's under control. I won't just start completely in check, so I imagine it's gonna be working just fine. Butterscotch! What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know, it's cold. What if I can't get us out of here? Are we gonna die because of me? No, you're a great witch, remember? We'll make it. But but I can't even do the spell at work. Something that came was an accident in the first place. I peg and I just Hey. You you'll get it. You've got talent. And if you can make gumdrop, you can make you can make ice, so take a deep breath and try again. And your girl's thing I knew from day one. I didn't. Hmm? There we go, Grab. I don't know who did. I just took credit for making myself look better. So sorry. You're not wrong. Stupid ice. St stupid wall. Stupid. Stupid. Ah, Perthiach. I'm just going haywire because you are you look different. What? Oh, my spell came with that. No look at me! <laughs> this voice is terrible for this, this, this. This like situation. It's trying to be serious, and I'm just uh. This is a body just an illusion. Then there will be. Uh, it's not very convincing. So this is what she meant, the wolf girl from before. Tell me you were wasting all your magic with some useless spell. Hey, is that neat? I can't let anyone except Toffee see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you hide behind a transvention all the time? You don't take me seriously when I look like I do. I want to be a beautiful, fearsome witch that everyone admires, but instead I'm... I'm... Your... Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm always lying to everyone, I barely ain't good magic, and I can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. And now we're gonna die because of a fat coward who couldn't tell you the truth. Are you happy? Well, s say something. Aren't you gonna yell at me? Don't you hate me? Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> nah, I can hate you. Your appearance means nothing. I hate you at all, Butterscotch. I never have. What, what are you saying? So nice. I wonder why we're always fighting. I guess it's because that's the way we are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. 
You're lying. Why would I lie? There's no point, since we'll both be dead soon enough. Unless we figure out our way out of here, that is. But, I mean, don't you hate anyone to do magic? You do, don't you? That's not it. I just think that being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements. That's awesome. So when it feels like no one else can see that, they get frustrated. But they don't trust magic users in general. But still, I can't- okay. I know I'm, 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 I'm gonna have this little dialogue to break the fourth wall real quick. I was gonna do a 10 minute video on this visual novel just to show it off for the Yuri game dev, the Yuri game jam or whatever. I ended up playing this game for several hours because this game is amazing. I am so hooked, it's not even funny. If this was a freaking TV show, I'd be like on the edge of my seat right now like, oh my god. What's he gonna? What's she gonna say? I almost called him a him again. I'm sorry. This character looks like a male to me. That's that's me being sexist. It's okay. That's the kind of funny. I know some really manly looking females. I can just tell her girls. But this game has really fucked up my gender bending forever. <laughs> well, guess this is why I can't be. Uh, this is probably why I'm hated by a lot of people. All right, whatever. But still, not gonna hate anyone just for being a witch. What? Why are you saying like that? Aren't you at least gonna make fun of me for looking like this? Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not their business. You're not hurting anyone, so who cares? And you're not even like you're not even fat. You're like at the most. You're like at the most. You're like I'm trying to think the word. Um, I want to say curvy, but that's not the right word. You're like. Your dick. That's the word I'm looking for. That's not the right word. That's just me being stupid. Oh my god, that's amazing. Alright, you're like... Yeah, yeah, wait, you're like... You have baby fat. That's what I call that. It's like baby fat. No, no, no. Fat is when you take up half your couch when you put your foot on it. That's fat. That's that's not fat. That's healthy. That's not, well, that's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. That's fat. I'm getting too serious now. We're, we're playing a game. You just don't get it. Everyone, oh, everyone thinks you're cool and you don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in the town full of magic users. Well, anyone can make a decent game of magic with yours. Taste the mess. Of course you do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Jeez, you're so confident. That's be otherwise I give up on something being something boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the day we first met when I came into your shop to make fun of how bad your alchemy went make candy taste? But then you forced me to try a piece? And you were impressed. You were so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them, but I was still mad so I refused. And clear us rivals? Yeah, I mean we're Huh. Maybe I may have not for our big egos, we can't have been friends sooner. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Hey, sir. I feel a lot better. My magic might work now, so I'm gonna give it another shot. For my ease, Barscotch is finally able to focus and melt away that wall of ice that had trapped him in their cave. Could the pair in the cave. Did they make their way back down to the mountain without an instant to an unfrozen and unrelieved gumdrop. Either you could get working on the ultimate suite, they probably returned to Barscotch. To our college. College. Duffy, I'm home. Our mission was success. <clears throat> Got her voice already. Master. Oh, your spell. I know. Don't worry. It's a lost story. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I read the first line. It was amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, I read the first line, I was just... Oh my god, okay. You have ducks sailing now. Those didn't give you any trouble, did they? Yeah, I should have went with you. I was just being a scary cat. Ah, uh, hey, it went just fine. Call your whiskers. Don't worry about me. I will, I mean. You went on a dangerous mission with your greatest rival. A lot could have gone wrong, yeah. Guess we probably shouldn't say anything about almost freezing death then. Oh! <laughs> 
I was reading the text and I just looked at the corner of my eye in the character model. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to actually play a game now. <laughs> so, I don't know why a little stuff like that makes me laugh. It's amazing. What? She She's just joking. She's just joking. Anyway, she's on her way outside. See ya. Hey, it's pretty awesome. There's one thing I should tell you about. Well, promise you won't hate me. Yeah, I promise. Oh, okay. I. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, I'm. <laughs> I can't. I'm using the crystal ball to smile you in your lap sometimes, so I'm really sorry. What? Here, here, take it. I'm using it more. I know it's bad, but I'm really trying to learn how to make candy so I can do it myself. But your science just took a piece of you. I couldn't figure it out. All of it was for nothing. And I'm really, really sorry. Uh, thanks for telling me, I guess. You don't hate me? I said I wouldn't. Phew, let's try to take that. Take it. I thought she'd be a lot better. Well, we did just get back from the near-death experience. The fact that you've been spying on me seems kind of inconsequential after that. E e oh. Yeah. There's a wood night I recorded on there. I think you'll probably want to see it. And what night is that? What happened? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's really terrible. Just, just watch it when you get a chance. Oh, it's probably when uh, Pastille makes gumdrop, that's probably what happens. It's important. Okay. Oh, I forgot, oh my, I forgot gumdrop's voice. Holy shit. I only even have a gumdrop voice for I really. Syrup, are you ready to return home and finish the ultimate suite? Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. Later, Buscotch. For me, when it's done, I won't forgive you if you don't when I don't get a taste. Hey, we're back. It's late, I'm starting to get really worried. I'm sorry to worry you, Master Bastille, but we were working on a top secret surprise, so we will tell you all about our adventure when it's finished. Surprise, okay. All off from asking where you've been all day. <clears throat> we're downstairs, so don't come in until we finish working, right? So surprise is a special treat, I should have guessed. Just trying to stay up all night. I wanted to know how you got. How you get when you're working for something big? I only give you some. Uh, I only give me a bedtime. I'll see you when it's done. Sir's so enthusiasm for desserts is unmatched. Let's let's begin our work. So we go to retreat to the basement. Uh, okay, I can see how she's being on now. All right, maybe I was just being sexist. Just get yourself just being sexist. I'm I'm probably just a sexist. It's okay. Spending hours after hours building the ultimate suite. Finally, all that's left is to let it chill overnight. We did good, Gumbra. Thanks for all your help. I'm glad we could have been assistance. I can't wait for Master Pastille to try it. Yeah, me too. You stay here and keep an eye on this thing. I don't want to go pass out. Rush is that. I will see you in the morning. That's a good chance to watch whatever's on this thing. I I want to know. Let's see what Rush just wanted to show me. That shouldn't... That should be it. Did it work? Are you alive now? Yeah, I messed up the spell. Oh, Master. What is your command? Oh, you're working. I did it. Please, issue a command. Alright. Uh, I think this is true. It's the best way I had to explain. Okay. I have this friend. She's, very, she's not very sociable and has a kind of dang against magic. So it's really hard for her to make friends here. Please, issue a command. Yeah, sorry. Guess what I'm asking is if maybe you could try. You know, you're made of magic. And you're also canny, so it should be okay, I think. In the process, please state your command clearly. Ah, I really should have thought this through better. Uh, please try to get along with my friend Syrup. <laughs> Provide switches how to get along. Well, first of all, the way you talk is really unnatural. Try speaking more casually, you know, be friendly. How is this? That's the wrong voice for her, it doesn't matter. There, keep talking. Um, do I, I still don't understand what you want me to do, Master. It sounds too compli compl too complicated. I'm sorry. No golems aren't usually used for these things like this, but I didn't have much of a choice. My friend hates talking to magic users. Speaking of which, she absolutely cannot know what I made you. She thinks that you're 
I'm just like her, and I can't use magic. Okay, I will hard. I'll work hard. Right now, I think you're doing great. Just keep acting like that, like a regular person, and you'll be friends with her in no time. Acting like? Yeah, even though you're a male, I can't eat. It feels like I'm talking to a real human. Just keep being yourself. Be myself. Yep, consider to be your, your manager. Hopefully, it's simple. Act human. But I am candy. Question mark. Be myself. I like a person. I'm Kenny, but act. Oops, maybe it was too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Ah, stop. Did I break you? I think I messed up again. So this one seems to be more so promising. I probably had to buy better luck trying to side talk to our magic users. They can't go in the work, right? This is a lot of candy and it's going away, so. So I'll take it apart and. This one actually talked to me. She was hinting it. Hey! If I give up now, would it be like I killed you? Ah, I won't give up on you. I won't give up on Sear Rider. We're gonna be friends somehow, I swear it. Sear was still awake. It's very lonely down there. So, well, I, uh, is, what is that you're holding? I still made you. Uh, huh? No, you can't also know that. Why not? Mr. Bastille said you hate talking to magic users, so yes, you cannot know. Forget, forget! Okay, okay. I forget. You really forget? Yeah. You were made by a rotten witch and an elaborate prank, right? Yes, and Mr. Bastille, he had nothing to do with it. I know it. That wish is not bad still. I was like, good for nothing when know the first thing about making a magic golem. I feel it's not good for nothing. But other than that, you're really right. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. Sir was laughing. Why? This is funny. He made you like my type. Well, aside from your weird personality. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make me. You said for you forgot. Alright, I forgot. For this time. But now I'm going to have to thank you. I'm going to have to go thank Butterscotch instead. You are grateful? Yeah, that I was okay with having fun with that seal around. But making a new friend was kind of fun. A friend? Do you mean that at last we're. We are. I can't see my face, but I'm actually moving my head a lot. Getting along? I think we've been for a while now. My task has been complete. And you're only telling me this now? I know it's your test still, but you go. Sorry. Oh, Mr. Priscilla will be so happy to hear this. We must inform him right away. Wait. I have a few questions for you about what you are. You were only following pests. Your creator's orders and acting friendly towards me, right? Does that mean it's all kind of fake? After all, you tell him you've been caught, we've been getting along, and he says that's enough. Then it's whatever. This is just over? Would you like me to hear the honest answer, Syrup? I don't know. At first, I thought you were a very pushy and selfish person. I worked very hard to be as friendly as I could, but I think that also makes me pushy and selfish like you. But there are many times you've been kind to me when it did not serve you to do so. And you always worked hard for your Master Bastille. Or for Master Bastille to be the ultimate sweet. I was instructed as a human, although I am candy. Maybe that means I am not capable of sincere feelings, but. You've always treated me as well, despite that. I'll just prove to you that I can defy expectations. Come drop. Now, I'm going to wait for my master by Sills' uh, bad side so that I may tell him the moment he wakes up that we have achieved getting along. No, don't do that. That's creepy. I'm just gonna avoid seeming creepy. I will stand here in the dark until he goes. <laughs> Uh, the way you put that sounds creepy too. I guess you can't help it though, huh? Is this creepy? That is creepy. I just cannot win with you, Syrup. You should go to sleep and not worry about. I think I'm not, I'm not doing her voice anymore. I'm just at that point. About how to pass the time. Alright, alright. See you in the morning. <clears throat> so, how is it? It's the best thing I've ever tasted. Whatever came up with the recipe wasn't kidding about the ultimate part. Maybe I. I completely agree. I feel sort of bad that Gumdrop doesn't have any taste buds to experience with this with. I'm just happy to see you two were enjoying it. 
I too. But you forgot about your promise to make this for me, Sai. Thank you. Eh, this is all savvy over nothing. Gumdrops don't remind me. Three Master Bastille is the ultimate importance. Shh, don't steal that. You, you, you don't have to be so nice to me. He's right. Make yourself to him. It's not working, Sai. Unacceptable. Now think of it. I actually have an errand to run for you. Take a serve and stuff, burnt scotch, okay? Frost let her have a taste. Cheers of you. I have a full request, you so nice. So come draw. What do you want to do now that your uh, mansion is taken care of? Huh, my still is not giving me any orders. I'm not talking about any orders. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Well, I was only created to do that. Created our day, so I don't know. What do you think I should do, Syrup? I can't be all on the site, or else it defeats the entire purpose. I just can't imagine you want to stay here and spend all your time working. Hmm, yes, it would be unfortunate if I did not get to see all the wonderful things in these books from yesterday. But most importantly, I would like to continue to strengthen our bond, Syrup. I think Master Still would be pleased by that. Then maybe we could try traveling together. You brought it before. Am I actually thinking about it? Thinking about it now? We definitely should. But we cannot possibly leave the store unattended, but it's just better at running this place than I ever could be. If I leave instructions for making candy, I'm sure he'd do just fine on his own. And he always he could always hire someone in town if he needs help. Even another witch if he has it if he has to. Considering he's been all along, I've gotten I've got no right to complain. No, I was supposed to forget about that, remember? He's forgets. Huh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I don't mention it anymore. So, what do you say? Wanna go on a journey together? Mm, yes, I would love that. And so Syrup dismissed Gumdrop from her job at the shop season, and they began traveling the world together, selling candy along the way. But still happily kept the store running on his own and studied Syrup's notes on candy making very closely to ensure that he would be no drop quality while Syrup was away. Personally felt a little lonely with her rival Alex Sport in the world, but at least Toffee was there to keep her company. Come drop in. Oh my god, that game was amazing! I can't even I can't even be I can't even lie. I cannot lie. Holy crap, this game was the best. 10 out of 10, would play again, GG. Wow. Well, if you guys have enjoyed it so far, or you guys have enjoyed, I might continue this. I might get all the all the endings. But the Gumdrop ending was definitely my favorite. So if you guys enjoyed the like as always, to recap, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Ten minute video turns into an hour long video, so you know your game is good.